In this question it is asked that a ball falls vertically on an inclined plane of inclination alpha with a speed v naught makes a perfectly elastic collision what is the angle of velocity vector with the horizontal after collision. So, let us assume that as per the given question a ball is falling vertically downward with a velocity v naught. So, it collides here right and then it rebounds now how it will rebound that we need to understand. So, when something is falling like this then its velocity has two component one is perpendicular to the plane and another is parallel to the plane. If this angle is alpha then this angle is also alpha. So, if this is v naught then this is v naught cos alpha and this is v naught sin alpha. Now, during a collision the velocity vector which is perpendicular to the plane means this will this will change and the uh, velocity vector which is parallel to the plane will not be affected that is this component will not be changed after collision. Now, the component uh, that, that is this component will rebound in this direction and the new velocity normal to the plane is v n which is given by E v naught cos alpha where E is the coefficient of restitution, but for an elastic collision it is, as it is given in the question coefficient of restitution is 1. So, the velocity in the perpendicular direction after the collision will remain same. So, that is the velocity will be v naught cos alpha. So, now we will find the resultant of this two velocity. So, here we have one velocity this this is parallel to the plane will not be affected is v naught sin alpha and another velocity which is v naught cos alpha is also not affected because E is 1. So, the resultant because if we have two vector which are perpendicular to each other then the resultant will be somewhere here right. right? So, here if this angle is alpha why this is alpha because it is reflected with the same velocity there is no change in the velocity. right? So, when E is 1 the angle of incidence and angle of reflection will be same. So, here it will reflect with the same angle alpha. Right? Now, it is asked that we have to find the angle made by this velocity vector with the horizontal. For that we go to the another figure this figure. So, it is coming with uh, this angle uh, with this velocity v naught striking the plane at an angle alpha and rebound with the plane at an angle alpha. So, this line is the horizontal and uh, this velocity vector makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Now, you can see if this is horizontal this is vertical then the total angle is 90. So, 90 is equals to alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha plus theta. So, theta is equals to 90 minus 2 alpha which is the correct answer.